Hello my dear fellow book lover friend, welcome to the beautiful eyes that are watching and listening to us, if you're looking for your next great med, you're in the right place, in this video, we're giving you a sneak peek into the book, An Unnecessary Woman by Rabia Lamadine, discussing everything from the characters to the themes, and to our favorite quotes, whether you're a long time fan or new to the book, you won't want to miss this, we are grateful to have you with us and, we wish you all the strength to make your life worth living. Now, we are presenting to you the summary of the book, An Unnecessary Woman by Rabia Lamadine is a powerful and moving novel that explores themes of loneliness, creativity, and the human experience. The story follows the life of Olivia Sala, a 72-year-old woman who lives alone in Beirut, Lebanon. Olivia is a fiercely independent and intelligent woman who has spent her entire life working as a translator. Despite her achievements, however, she feels unfulfilled and disconnected from the world around her. Elamadine's writing is stunning and poetic, with rich descriptions of Beirut and its people. The novel is also filled with references to literature and philosophy, with Olivia's passion for books and reading serving as a central theme throughout the narrative. As Olivia reflects on her life and the people she has known, she explores the complex nature of human relationships and the ways in which we connect with others. One of the most powerful aspects of this novel is the way it explores the experience of loneliness. Olivia is a woman who has lived much of her life in isolation, and her reflections on her past are tinged with a sense of sadness and regret. Despite this, however, she remains fiercely independent and determined to live life on her own terms. Another key theme of the novel is the power of creativity. Olivia is a woman who has devoted her life to translating books, and her passion for literature and language is palpable throughout the narrative. Elamidine's writing captures the beauty and power of language, and the novel is a celebration of the creative spirit that resides within us all. In the words of the New York Times, An Unnecessary Woman is an achingly beautiful work about books, Beirut, and the depth of loneliness. The novel has been praised for its lyrical prose and its exploration of complex themes, including the nature of creativity, the power of literature, and the human experience. One of the most memorable lines from the novel comes from Olivia herself, who reflects on the nature of literature and its impact on her life. A book is a version of the world. If you do not like it, ignore it or offer your own version in return. In conclusion, An Unnecessary Woman is a deeply moving and thought-provoking novel that explores the complexities of the human experience. Elamidine's writing is stunning and poetic, and Olivia is a character who will stay with readers long after they have finished the book. This is a novel that celebrates the power of creativity, the beauty of language, and the resilience of the human spirit. One of the most striking features of the novel is its exploration of the role of women in Middle Eastern society. Elia, who has never married or had children, is viewed as an unnecessary burden by her family and society at large. Her struggle to find meaning and purpose in a world that has dismissed her is heartbreakingly real, and Elamidine does an excellent job of conveying the depth of her pain. Another powerful theme that runs throughout the book is the transformative power of literature. Elia's love of books is both her greatest joy and her only solace. As she immerses herself in the works of writers from around the world, she finds comfort and understanding that she cannot find in her everyday life. Elamidine's prose is rich with symbolism and metaphor, making for a deeply immersive reading experience. Take, for example, this passage in which Olivia reflects on the death of a friend. She had always said that when she died, she wanted a tree planted in her memory. I planted one for her in my imagination. It's a fig tree. It has a deep root system, and it stands in the middle of an olive grove on a hill. The sky is blue, the air is clear, and the breeze carries the scent of thyme and wild flowers. It's a beautiful tree, and it bears the most delicious figs. Whenever I miss her, I go there. In this passage, the fig tree serves as a powerful symbol of friendship, life, and death. It is a testament to the depth of Elia's feelings for her friend, and a reminder of the beauty that can be found even in the darkest of times. Overall, An Unnecessary Woman is a deeply moving work of fiction that will leave readers both heartbroken and inspired. Elamidine's prose is masterful, and his characters are so fully realized that they feel like real people. Anyone who has ever struggled with feelings of loneliness, regret, or unfulfilled dreams will find something to relate to in this beautiful book. Our review about the book suggests that, An Unnecessary Woman by Rabia Lamadine is a book that will touch the hearts of readers. It is a beautifully written novel that explores the themes of loneliness, creativity, 
and the human experience in a profound and moving way. One of the most striking aspects of this novel is the character of Olivia Sala. She is a fiercely independent and intelligent woman who has devoted her life to the pursuit of literature and language. Despite her achievements, however, she feels unfulfilled and disconnected from the world around her. As she reflects on her past and the people she has known, she explores the complex nature of human relationships and the ways in which we connect with others. Elamidine's writing is stunning and poetic, with rich descriptions of Beirut and its people. The novel is also filled with references to literature and philosophy, with Olivia's passion for books and reading serving as a central theme throughout the narrative. The power of creativity is also explored in the novel, and readers will be inspired by Olivia's passion for language and her dedication to her craft. You should read this classic book. We, thank you for being with us. Don't forget to check for other book suggestions on our channel. And, we suggest you to please, subscribe and support your this channel, to grow together. Thank you again.